Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time, I had a weird audio desync issue, and hopefully that's not going to be the case again this time. Um, so we got out of the Shinra Mansion and came out here, and this raving lunatic just, you know, decides that he's going to be hovering over the entrance to the Shinra Manor in a freaking jumbo jet. And he's just going to fly out and it's boss time again for like the fourth time. But anyway, I came in to cloud settings. I figured I'd do it off screen so that we didn't have to take like the first like 15 minutes figuring out what we want to do. Um, so what I did was I gave cloud barrier and time so we can cast haste and barrier if we need it. We've got MP up and our healing materia if we need it. We're probably going to focus on using items. Um, we have the enemy skill materia, um, because there, there are some good stuff in there, but I think we actually, we got another one, didn't we? That I didn't, I didn't try out yet, but anyway, we have, we have our assess, um, HP up with an AP up because it's almost at level four. And then I took, I took the strength up materia that we had on Yuffie and I put it with a level boost. So that, that's, that's really nice. <laughs> And then Precision Defense Focus, which opens up our um, Precision Defense Timing Window, which I'm probably not going to get anyway, um, because I haven't been doing it all game. It's just I was scrolling through the material and saw it and, and figured, hey, this might, be a, this might be a benefit to what we need. And we had um, a level 2 Deadfast Block material, so I figured we could take less damage and get an ATB boost while guarding. And then I went in... And realized that we didn't have this equipped, so we got that on there. And I think that's it. Um, is there anything we want to we want to change summon wise to get a different stat boost? No, I don't think so. I. You know what I'm going to do? That's a little better. I'm kind of debating taking off the healing materia entirely because we're, we're probably not going to use it. And then I can take that... Um, Well, that's the thing, though. I, I don't think we really need to put a, a level boost material with the MP up. Maybe maybe the uh, MP or the uh, the level boost with steadfast block. That'd be nice. Okay, so let's do that. So let's do. We'll take this. I just swapped. Pretty much all of the materia Cloud had, I swapped it onto red because he was empty. <laughs> okay, so let's move. Let's move this here. And we'll put another level boost. The Master Steadfast block. Good stuff. I think... I think that puts us in a pretty good spot. Also, I guess we'll find out. Um, is there... Is there not a vending machine out here? Oh, actually, instead of doing that... Let's check the item transmuter. Uh, we can't make that yet. We can, however, make Giga Potion. Can we make... Planet Spirit. We can. Hmm, but we don't have a lot of those leaves. So if we make three Planet Spirits... Oh, that doesn't actually matter because you need that leaf. That same leaf is what you need to make the Giga Potions. 
And I, I really don't want to use, I don't want to have to use the X potions. Okay, well, whatever. Let's see what, <clears throat> let's see if we can get some. Uh, yeah, we can't get anything for Cloud there. And we can only buy Mega Potion. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, do we need to top up? No, we don't. Understand, I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. But I do have a cringe that can deny all of it. <clears throat> wow. Bring me the black materia. Okay, so hopefully this pans out well. I haven't really been playing a lot as Cl like I haven't been focusing on using Cloud's abilities like um, My desire to see you has like the Punisher mode stuff. So I'm kind of I'm I, I, a little bit out of practice, I guess. We've been using Yuffie a lot. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap, so let's cut it one last time. He's mine. Let me get a focus thrust. Oh, it's way too close. Come on, it took me out of Punisher mode. Oh, get out of here with that, man. That's so annoying. Block button, man. Ah, oh, man. I thought we would have. I thought we would have been able to dodge that, but apparently not. Ain't dead yet. Here we go. 
Oh, I... Okay, it didn't use my limit. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. You okay? <laughs> They're trying to kill each other. Hey, man, are you okay? Did, I... Did you get really hurt really badly? Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch. You're as good as dead. That's that. Oh. <laughs> There's no escaping the degradation. My friend. We really, really need to work on the precision defense thing. I find that really hard, though, because, like, you get stuck mid-action. Oh, what? Black materia. Dream on! That materia's mine! So he goes from like there's no escaping the degradation. He goes from attacking Cloud being fully coherent to falling on the ground that won't happen to and you. Don't worry. standing yeah, up magically with a right. black robe on. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer just awaits. Kind of staggering Keystone. away like yeah. these other shambling dudes in, in the black robes. How does that make sense? Unless he was, like, possessed? <laughs> Come on! Huh? Look, oh, is, is this going to be the, uh, the announcement of war with Wutai, or is this a flashback? Oh! Uh, it makes... Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. I get it now. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us. When we must I'm really curious to see if we're gonna get uh, like a DLC pack with like the the Glenn story Near leading up to this ago, point, kind of Junon fleshing him out as a character. Because, like, they, they did that in Ever Crisis, the, uh, the mobile game, so... ...president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers, and in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. Dang, just sniped him. This is what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch. This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us, Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru.
so they're just gonna leave it sit there on an empty podium? Who exactly is this Saruf? The Invisible Man? Oh, I've got questions about this. Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn... what's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex-soldier, P0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological ah. survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lodbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <sighs> if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. Not quite. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. <laughs> just <laughs> shut up, Palmer. <laughs> Seriously, man, just sit down Any before you hurt yourself. Would be good to put a face to the name. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious about this guy. I I um have some questions about, or well, I guess not questions, but I'm I'm thinking the it may be a particular, as we speak, very particular Assuming person, but is our top priority. She may not be guide us to the promised land one way or another hmm. Hmm. regarding the speech sir many will interpret it as a declaration of war it pretty much is bro and given that it was a worldwide broadcast it would be prudent to issue a response i intend to make a statement sung if you would Sir. <sighs> Let me guess, we're going to get some side questy time before we leave. And may so, we never have Kate Sith in our party exactly again. Exactly. Are we supposed to get back to the salsa? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Well, so how did you get here in the first place, man? We took a plane. Why would you not just do a return trip the same hey, way? Cat. Thought. Sorry, guys. Reeve is busy. <laughs> um. Well. You see. No, oh, the tiny Maybe Bronco, you don't say. Call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. <sighs> this is the obligatory what do we do next conversation. They they already know. They already know 100% for a fact that Sid exists and he has proto relic energy signals from a group of robed individuals. Of course you are. Indeed. They know I'm Sid exists, why. and they know so he has a plane, and they took the How plane here. So, while they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. Uh, well, we kind of have to, man. It's a collectible. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the others. Okay, so let's go to the job board. Um, actually, first, let's reorganize Cloud. So let's swap.
that. That. Um, let's do AP up again on HP up. We have assess enemy skill, precision defense, uh, which we don't necessarily need. So we'll swap that and then we'll take back our lightning, revival, and gravity. So there, Cloud's back to square one. Red's got a really basic materia setup. Okay. Let's see what we got. Can Just stop listening. singing, man. You've got a great voice. Oh, you flatter me. I didn't even know I was doing it. You see, this cat I feed sometimes has gone missing. And when I worry, I cannot help. Hey. And I cannot help but cringe. Her, oh my god. It? Why I sing whenever the mood strikes, really? Haven't you ever felt like bursting into so no, I can't say I have. You've got an ear for music, though. I played piano a little when I was younger. My mom taught me. My, that's lovely. Hence the you piano minigame. Sure, I bet it'd be a lot of fun. Come on. If you like, we can go look for your cat. Really? Oh, what a relief. <laughs> I'm Christine, by the way. Chef and... Chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. She's got the most beautiful snow white coat. Petite little thing, too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. Okay. All this talk of cats makes me think of Fluffy. Yeah, one and only. What happened to her? Something I've been meaning to ask you. Let's go on a cat venture. How come you named your cat Fluffy? It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, This little lady's name is Fluffy. But he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had already started calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those days. Hey, do you remember that red bandana Fluffy always had around her neck? Now that you mention it. Believe it or not, my dad made it with cloth from one of his old shirts. Even though she was my cat, I think he took better care of her. That right. Sorry, didn't mean to bring him up. No need to apologize. Huh. So, how do we get around there? Our destination's over there, but... I don't know if there's a specific way to get over there. Like, do we have to come over here? And, like, come down across a bridge or something?
Oh, we can use the key card here now. Or can we? The reactor is off limits. Cool story, bro. Was really dark. Who's in our party? I didn't even look. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, that's the underside of the cave. I thought they just forgot the sky here. I don't think this is where we're supposed to be, but there was a door in here. Oh, this is the... Um, were we able to... Now, was there an elevator here? There is! Up or down? Up. Awesome, so we're gonna be able to go down the tubes again. I, I hope, at least. Yeah, sure enough, so we took the middle. Let's take this one. Man, you're gonna make me pick three? Okay, we'll take we'll take the left. Two there and two there, so let's do... Stick to the left. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll head back up, and then we're gonna go down the right side. Probably a complete waste of time. There's probably nothing good in there other than just like regular consumables, but. Okay, let's try the right. Oh, we were just here. Yeah, we just went down the left one. So let's go down the right one. Oh, hey there. There's your box. Keep it together. You've got this. I'm through with you. Go on. Okay, let's get a blade burst on the other guy. Good stuff. Okay, a high ether. That's totally worth it. Oh, we got nothing there. And only one way down, so let's let's get it, I guess. Ah, and that brings us out there. Um Okay, let's go through and see what's at the other end. Um, because there was a door, I think, that Said we needed a key card that we didn't go in. I think. Don't quote me 100% on that. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Let's find out. Want to be arrested? Beat it. Okay, well, we're not going up that way. Okay, this should bring us to the beginning, right? Birdo bus stop is here. Can I have those? Thanks.
Oh wait, we were we were here right before we warped. Ah, there's a way up. Okay, well, it wasn't a com complete waste of time. What's up? Heard something. Over there. Let's go. Definitely wasn't a complete waste of time, so that's good. But I think since we figured out where this cat is, we will call it a day here for now. This one a little shorter. And next time we will continue on our way to collecting this cat and returning it to its owner and checking out the proto relic. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.